Okay, very good. Good morning! And welcome to episode 1434 of Hard Factor. It is Friday, April 5th. 2024 thank you for cheating on the news with us 80 ish percent accuracy guaranteed everything you need to know in 40 minutes or less but if you need more go to patreon.com slash hard factor on today's show mark's got a lightning round including of course cicadas to lead us off <laughs> did we just fucking have them oh brother <laughs> pat you are not gonna like the update well <laughs> Some of them are annual. Some of them are like it's just, it's, I, I'll just I'll just not not going to bring a lead. Uh, the right. blue and the and the brown is what we're getting this year. Where is that? <laughs> right on, I don't know, buddy. Right by Chicago. That's getting two trillion cicadas. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the most. It's cicada getting because it's got the seventeen year plus the other ones. So yep. yeah, I'll tell you what. The largest though, in hundred. Those immigrants are going to know how to cook those cicadas real nice. <laughs> Delicious. Right? Wes, you're just <laughs> increasingly more racist as of late. This is like as, as he ages, you know, he's like a fine wine. Less Less drunk, I'm just trying to look at the bright side for you. You're going to have some. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Imagine all those soccer balls roll, rolling over the cicadas. They're going to oh, crush them. The cicada grill going. They're going to gonna know what to do with those things. But man, you've never seen a spin of a soccer ball. Unless yeah. you've seen the spin of a soccer ball, get a little cicadas. street ball court, <laughs> exactly. get a little cicada grill. English on it. Yeah, I mean that's going to be no it's going to be fantastic. Well, anyways, uh, we'll talk anyways. about it more in the lightning round. Uh, I've got all the latest lab news, uh, just all the stuff people people are cooking up in labs these days. Tell tell you about it. You know, beautiful can, can be sure, exciting. It's, sure it's great, terrifying, all that. Uh, Wes has the latest hilarious plane meltdown for us. Here's a little taste. Whoa, Ooh. that's not that's that's <laughs> fake. That's like a horror movie. <laughs> you know? It's like a rubber chicken. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of does look like a rubber chicken. She's oh, so God. upset. Yeah, that's a real photo. <laughs> oh yeah, the video. Yeah, wow. I mean, yeah, yeah, you'll you'll hear it. You'll hear the whole thing. Can't wait okay. for that. And then Pat's got the largest cash heist ever in California. That's right, the most populous state largest cash heist ever absolutely insane we're going to talk heist movies too hell yeah dude what? well patreon.com slash hard factor for three ad free shows every week bonus shows but we got a huge show today so you guys want to do it yeah, yeah. Cool. last show of the week all right well everyone stay away from open fields and get out of the water now because living on the edge of a lightning bolt and i do not apologize for that yeah, got a little lightning round for you. Uh, first up, we have an April Fool's joke gone wrong, which we did talk about that on patreon.com slash hard factor this week. Those were personal stories. Uh, well, it happened in the news this week. Meet Nigerian Afrobeat star musician Davido. Mm. Uh, hey, you, know Davido. What Af- you know what Afrobeats is? You know Davido? Yeah, Afrobeat, baby. It's like a style. Afrobeat? Yeah, it's like a style of, of of music from mainly West Nigeria, or like Nigeria, Western Africa. It's kind of like, okay. yeah, it, yeah, it grows bigger than a lot of it. A lot of Afrobeat yeah. in France. There's a big Afrobeat festival Started. in yeah. Brooklyn like and France. African techno. It's called Afrobeat. Yeah. Sort of. I listened to some of Devito. It's got like you know different rhythm centered. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty good. He's pretty good. And Devito's a big star. He gets numbies, as the kids say on Spotify and YouTube. He's got like you know like. 15 million followers on on x and his songs are in the hundreds of millions so he's on Spotify. like one of the biggest celebrities in the whole country yeah he's an international star he's like yeah, yeah. so he yeah. might be the biggest thing in the, the he's biggest, like but... he's like approaching bad bunny is oh, bad bunny. he's the bad bunny of africa right wow. bad, bad bunny bad bunny <laughs> <laughs> uh he also he also gets pranked on april fools oh. most recently by a powerful uh, k24 owned kenyan news station who said he had been arrested on april 1st for having a shitload of cocaine on his private jet he was flying around on his east african tour a little east versus west prank okay that was a prank that was an april fools on him yeah he wasn't arrested he didn't wow. get caught with cocaine um kenyan the new, media yeah, the news definitely. station re- reported that yes as an april fools joke Against- <laughs> that's no rules terrible April that's amazing <laughs> it's yeah. so dangerous oh, yeah. yeah very dangerous it endangered this man this man you know 
dearly, but they, but it, what a yeah. joke. I mean, they, the the editor or like the producers there just let him fly with that. We're like, OK, they we're going to do a fake cocaine bus story about our biggest celebrity. Well, it's I East versus West. Hit yeah, because East is Kenyan. He's West. He's Nigeria. So it's a little Kenyan pranking Nigerian action. You see? OK. Yeah. East Africa versus West Africa. Yes. Oh, I see. Prank but war. but the, the broadcast goes across both nations. Oh, it went, yeah. You know, it it went viral. Africa. It went, everyone was like, you're a cokehead, DeVito. Uh, and it's believable because most incredibly rich, successful R&B singers nose take. You know, they partake with the nose. Um, so it's, it was believable. So everyone believed it. So um, he's pissed because everyone was calling him a cokehead and laughing at his fake arrest online. And now he's planning on suing. He even took yeah. to yeah. win that. <laughs> He took. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, suing in what Nigerian <laughs> court? Uh, yeah, I guess. Is there an international court for slander? Is it the, <laughs> was that some made a coup over there, man? Like, are you gonna go to the courts with this one? He's suing the Kenyans, though. Oh, the Kenyans. Right, Kenyans, Kenyans are pretty Kenyans. together. Kenyans got Kenyans. deep pockets. Kenyans got it together. Yeah. So he's pissed. So he took to he took to uh, X and was like, "I've never been arrested in my life. This is bullshit. I'm gonna sue him. This is I know it's April Fools, but this is just incredibly irresponsible and, and reckless." Blah blah blah. And right. so people uh, <laughs> people are commenting on that, and they're like, uh, "Here's one comment from at Afro Beats, and he says." My brother, we were snorting cocaine on that PJ like we were going down and had to get rid of weight. Let it slide. <laughs> okay. The D DJE is just like, he's like a Kenyan who, who loved the joke, but he also loves DeVito and Afrobeats. So. He is, or he's me on a fake tweet website. But um, uh -huh. yeah, so we will see what happens. Uh, apparently, the parent station to the Kenyan news station, K24, has some deep pockets. So maybe he's just looking for a settlement. I love that April yeah. Fools uh, is. I did. I did. I always thought April Fools was just like a stupid American thing that people do. But uh, I mean, that's that. It's fantastic that that everyone's you know even even Kenya and, and they love it. Are getting into it. it. They love it a little too much. <laughs> Global <though>. language. This, <laughs> this is this is going to cost them quite a April bit. April Fools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's pretty reckless. Everyone believed it. You know. He. Well, right. Everybody, but Devito, you said fell for an April Fool's. Did he really fall for it? Or he just was a victim. Of no, a, he's of the a, victim. He's just mad because now. April Fool's, I mean, yeah. like regardless of his statement and the retraction from the Kenyan news station saying it's April Fool's, like you know, there's millions of people out there that think he's a cokehead. Like it's also it's just such a weird. Yeah. It's so outside of the yeah. bounds of a normal April Fool's joke. Yeah, yeah, right. It's very. It's, it's gonna stick. I mean, I think, there's. I think, got I, high think, I think what stuck is DeVito into one of the news editors' wives or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. that seems personal. Um, well, does Kenya have their own Afrobeat star that they um, would prefer was more famous than DeVito? Well, I don't know. Again, it's Pat, mostly yeah. West Coast is Afrobeats, but I don't know. Probably. Um, all right. He's got a case. I got, I'm, I'll, I'm also, I got to add him to the Spotify list. So. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah. That coked up guy is great. Next, we have probably the only porch pirate I've ever rooted for. Check out this video that apparently is not staged of a creative thief. Bizarre video out of North Sacramento tonight. A person hiding inside a trash bag just to steal a small package. Good evening. I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. There's something you have to see to believe. Just take a look. There you see that person <laughs> covered in a trash bag taking that small package from this doorstep in Glenwood Meadows. <laughs> ABC 10's Blue Clary out of a spoke to the homeowner bag. tonight about this caught on camera moment. I was at work and I received the notification on my phone that I had a package. And when I, I got home, I didn't see the package. Good thing. He caught it all on camera. So I see the bag coming to my door. Unreal. A porch pirate in a trash bag. At first, I <laughs> thought they were messing with me. But when I got home, I see no package. I look around and I, I couldn't find the package. So I know somebody took it. He yeah. stole my cicada crock pot. <laughs> Yeah, my cicada spices are gone. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, dude. They're not eating cicada. They're not dogs. You made a joke, too. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that I guy's love that guy's explanation. Like, yeah. he, like he needed to prove that somebody took it. He had it on video. And it wasn't there. 
the news was trying to make a big deal of it. And they're like, so that's how I knew that somebody yeah. had taken it. was like, it wasn't that expensive, so I didn't care. And they're like, you're taking this in stride. You must have a good sense of humor. He's like, yeah, I got pretty good sense of humor. <laughs> I mean, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. unless, unless it was like a wedding ring. I mean, you, no, you got yeah, yeah. to chalk mean, that up to hilarious. Why not wear a mask? Right, Pat, because that dude has some balls and you know, walking around in a low visibility, no way to defend yourself when the homeowner, a dog or a nosy neighbor rolls up on you and beats your baggity ass like bag. Right. Because sometimes people get identified by the sweatshirts they're wearing, the jeans right. they're wearing like they got nothing on this guy. Just shoes. That's it. <laughs> but but it's so dangerous for him, too. But, though, I mean, <laughs> but I mean, how fit is this dude, bro? Like. Like it's, uh, it's he's, a contract he was essentially attack, though. crab walking, but he was he low. He, he wasn't he at is. full extension. What if, it was a, what if it was a child? It could have been a child. It could be a small dude. Yeah. yeah. Or a small man. Um, yeah. I mean, he would deserve the ass beating, but that's by far the coolest Porsche pirate of which there are none. It's funniest funny. Porsche pirate yeah, video. Funniest Porsche pirate. Yeah. By far. <laughs> he's in a trash bag. All right. And finally, <laughs> bad news for the East Coast and Midwest. Cicada, get in. Um, we mentioned it before. We talked about the top of the show. It's the largest emergence of cicada since 1803. It's happening right now or or tomorrow or very soon. This spring. It's happening. They're emerging. Can you hear yeah, them, Pat? Yeah. Dude, okay. But what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Like, I remember in 2004, right? Sure. Yeah, we all had the summer of the cicadas and then I didn't hear shit about them until like three years ago when they came back every 16 years or whatever. And well, you have different again? cicadas now. I don't yeah. think it, they're, they're not all the 17 year cicadas. There's like, no, 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 there's here. I'll, I'll pull up the map again. And if you see on the bottom, right, it's hard to read, but they're they're different broods because they're right. called broods. Yeah. The uh, brood 19 is the yeah. 13 year cicada coming out right now and that's the biggest one of all the broods and then the brood 13 is the 17 year cicada which is very confusing because the 13 year cicada is not really didn't go, yeah. very stupid with the naming why didn't yeah. they just name them after the years they come out um but there's like seven to there's like 12 different year cicadas there's like the five year the seven year the 13 year the 17 year the 13 year is by far the biggest and the 13 year i think 17 is one of the biggest the 13 year and 17 year haven't come out at the same time since 1803 they have red eyes these cicadas that with the brutes <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And that's how you can tell the difference because there's a every that's year how cicada. you know they're delicious yes yeah. there's an every year cicada that comes yeah. out that has green eyes so you're probably like oh i hear cicadas every year you, you probably do that's a cicada with green eyes they're just cicadas these brood motherfuckers these aliens these freaks these weirdos come out of the ground at different times and the, and the two biggest ones are coming out with the regular cicadas so you know, crunchy yeah. shells midwest is fucked it's it's nice, chocolate. yeah they, they do fuck dogs up because dogs be eating some cicadas dog and like, they, what they do is they make their farts smelly yeah that's true yeah oh, i can mess their cicadas. tummies up too people eat yeah. cicadas people yeah, eat, yeah. We, we knew a lot of people that ate cicadas back in as a oh, gag, like summer a, of 04. No, when like I, a, hey, check this out. The reason, <laughs> I made, the reason I made the cicada joke, Pat, is one time on my way to the preak, I think it was the preakness in Baltimore when the cicadas were out, and there was a family of 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 Latinos uh, selling uh, cicadas that they had that they had cooked up. They were just selling it like on the street. They were and uh, West thought typical. Yeah, it's a gag. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, they were they were just selling. Them. I think they were they might have been chocolate covered. I think they were just yeah they were out there. Man. Sounds good. I haven't seen white selling cicadas, but I've seen them eating them for yeah. sure. This is bigger than the total eclipse. Some nerds are saying. Can you um, imagine that? No, it's it's also happening at the same time. Yeah. Total eclipse plus cicada getting. I mean. That's the cicadas are gonna get you during the total eclipse. Yeah, dude. Apparently, um, and some coma, some you know, animals deal with the eclipse. The eclipse is a big deal on animals, right? Like they can sense shit like hap happening and stresses them out. Some animals deal with the stress by just fucking. That'd be awesome, yeah, dude. If you yeah. were if you before the internet, if you lived before books and the internet, and you didn't know what was happening this summer, and it was cicada geddon plus the, the total solar eclipse, and you were right in the middle of all of it, you would. I mean, you would go crazy and start fucking everything too. You would do, you would do whatever you wanted. Well, it imagine would... waking up from like a long coma on the afternoon of April eighth, and like the lights go dark in the afternoon, and you just hear right. a billion cicadas. You're like, yeah. oh fuck. What about the <laughs> guy with these demon faces on yeah. on, the, on that thing? Right. Oh, no. it's the end. It's the end, brother. You yeah. just got to start doing whatever you want. Yeah. Like, imagine how rich you could get if back in the day as a like a religious charlatan. Oh, yeah. on this day, it would be the oh, just just, just just like just seeing the cicadas and the fucking 
And well, I mean, religious charlatans are always making predictions of of something vague happening, yes. but you could point to it big time. April is the big, and then one. the money comes in. Yeah, how come we haven't heard of fantastic. any cults talking about April eighth? Um, some other oh. fun cicada facts besides dog You'll farts. On uh, April eighth, buddy. Uh, cicadas can pee m- with more velocity than any animal in the animal kingdom, including humans and elephants, making oh. Mark Wahlberg's character from the other guys proud. And they also easily get infected by a cicada STD that turns them into horny zombies. And Wes, oh. hit us with that song that you oh, got yeah. laid with, please. We are. The cicadas, and we come up underground every 17 years, and we make a lot of noise, and we make a lot of noise. Beautiful song. That got me Yeah, yeah, it got me Wow. Hell Summer yeah. of 04. Yeah. With a Magic minor. Yeah, with a whoa, minor. whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. No, it's legal in Virginia, technically. Yeah. That was gold, Wes. You Didn't know what know else? at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's wow. all didn't, good. <laughs> didn't know at the time tr- also that you could have mixed the lyrics up. You could have said 13 years, yeah. 17 years. She was one year for every year those cicadas come out. That was gold, right. Wes. You know Alex what else is Alex, gold? Yeah. Gold, which you yeah. can get plenty of from our sponsor, Noble Gold Investments. Few investments make a better long-term hedge against inflation, depression, and economic downturns than precious metals like gold and silver. Right? Yeah, that's right. true. No. Yeah. Uh, plan for the inevitable and protect your retirement savings with a gold backed IRA from Noble Gold Investments or get that solid gold delivered to you. So Noble Gold Investments is the gold IRA company that Americans trust because the founders of Noble Gold have more than 20 years of combined experience in buying gold and silver, and they have secured more than one billion, one billion dollars in precious uh, uh, metals for their clients. Wow. So, um, yeah, you know, hedge against inflation, economic downturn, defense, great tax advantages, you know, invest in safe haven assets like gold and, and silver. It's stability in the chaos, and, and the government can't print more gold. They just can't. They can print a ton of money. They can't print more gold. And like I said, there's two ways you can get your gold uh, from Noble Gold Investments. You can choose between a tax-advantaged gold IRA or have a phys- physical gold delivered to your door, which is probably the cooler way to do it. Uh, yeah. Noble Gold Investments ensures a seamless and easy transaction. Invest in something you can hold. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com slash hardfactor to get started. Don't wait. That's noblegoldinvestments.com slash hardfactor get in there all right all the latest laboratory news up next next uh being in the lab can be great guys it can also go terribly wrong uh you know one test makes electricity the next test accidentally releases a pandemic onto the world it's an exciting potentially terrifying place the laboratory laboratory no whammies no whammies no whammies that's where dre makes his hits yeah yeah, true. Yeah. You could be in the lab with a pen and a, and a pad as well. Um, but here's all the latest uh, lab news, worst to best, okay? Worst lab news of the day. The New York Post is reporting that scientists in labs have recently confirmed that the new bird flu uh, pandemic could be 100 times worse, they say, uh, than COVID. And as you can see there, They've tested it in labs with the vials and whatnot. Where did they uh, come up with that number? 100 yeah. times worse. Uh, it's just what they're saying. They're saying that that's, that's it. It's Because it's more deadly. And if it could spread Ooh. as bad, it would be worse, right? More dead. So no yeah. more eggs. No more eggs ever. Because your last headline was like they, they no, culled all the chickens. No, it's not like that. Um, well, they are culling a lot of chickens over it. But. The H5N1 avian flu has been spreading among bird, birds since at least 2020, and now it's making its way to livestock and humans. And so far, it's killed about 50% of the very few humans that it has uh, you know, infected that have contracted it. Uh, so hopefully that number of you know deaths drops uh, sharply if it becomes more transmissible among humans. Right now, you like, have to like work inside of ducks and cows to get it, but you know, uh, hopefully not more how does it red. spread like spit like the flu it's a flu bird flu i mean you know how people got mad like if someone came to a wedding or whatever but when the early days of the pandemic oh, they, had yeah. co- they had covid if you show up with a with the bird flu that's or that's a, a tough bird, bro or with a bird, a sick bird, bird, bird yeah, coughing <laughs> putting the whole fucking wedding at risk bad luck a bird with the sniffles yeah well it's in cat livestock too now so watch out cows they're having a yeah so it's uh just another animal flu jumping up to the big leagues, you know, so fun stuff. It's not from the lab, but 
labs tested this one. I mean, is it going to happen this time? Because I feel like I've heard about the bird flu epidemic for many, many years. Just You're right, West. Bird, flu, bird yeah. flu, cicadas, mad cow, uh, mm. swine flu. Those are all kind of the the, the standards, right? That yeah. could that could be the next. Right. Well, it could be a hundred times. Look, is I it going to kill us this time or what? I haven't tooted my own horn on this in a long time, but I called COVID. I'm not worried one iota about the bird flu. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. It ain't, ain't going to happen. That is good news for everybody. And speaking of COVID and labs uh, making animal viruses more transmissible to humans, uh, Dr. Peter Daszak, this guy right here, of EcoHealth Alliance, who was carrying out NIH-funded coronavirus research at the Wuhan lab uh, in uh, Wuhan, China in 2019 and before, he's uh, finally going to be testifying at a public congressional hearing on May 1st. So pretty good to, you know, finally be hearing from almost certainly the godfather of COVID-19 after all yeah, this he, he had a full head of hair before. No, he's always been uh, bald and uh, <laughs> looking like a guy who may have leaked COVID and then tried to hide from everybody. Can they just good fellas him and he shows up to a an empty room and they just shoot him in the head? <sighs> a lot of people probably wish that was the case. No, it's just an open congressional hearing, Mark. Uh, the guy, though, the reason people want to talk to him he was using the now infamous lab in Wuhan and taking coronaviruses from bats and putting them into humanized mice at the birthplace of COVID-19 when it broke out. And, you know, that's all, you know, actually, uh, you know, tracked on government signed and sealed papers there. So uh, this guy is a laboratory legend. Uh, good to finally be hearing from him about what went down there at the, La the old lab Wuhan laboratory, you know. <laughs> There he is. You see him right there in front of the lab, driving, yeah. trying to avoid the media. There. So he's the guy. He's, he's still over there, huh? <laughs> Pretty much, Wes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so uh, he was the guy. Well, uh, Fauci was the one who signed the contract that funded that uh, project. Okay. So, uh, best lab news news of all, though, the U.S. Department of Energy's uh, Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory (PPPL). They pioneered a new design uh, for a type of nuclear fusion machine called a Muse Stella Stellarator. OK, uh, and what this does, it makes nuclear fusion possible with regular old permanent magnets. So it's the first time ever that anybody has developed a you know potentially usable uh, nuclear fusion model using permanent magnets. And so look at these two virgins. Oh. No. Well, <laughs> for now, when they when they make, you know, well, cheap energy for everybody. Are you a virgin if you fuck your partner? You mean those or, two? Yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying. You fuck, your, that, men you fuck yeah. your mentor, you mean? That's, that's <laughs> what I mean, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant they were fucking the muse machine. I wouldn't put that past No, I mean, things get romantic if you work after hours, close yeah, quarters. I, and look at this thing's like a nice cylindrical. It's got, got some curves to it. Anyways, um. It's like well, nuclear energy then. Well, we did it. What should we do now? Well, we're both virgins. Mm -hmm. Let's fuck it. <laughs> um, I mean, it is beautiful. If they if they could scale the model to contain a fusion reaction that's held in place by the magnetic fields using regular permanent magnets instead of electromagnets or electric currents, it would represent a huge cost and resource burden reduction for the future of much cheaper and more efficient nuclear energy because nuclear fusion, you know, is just that naturally. We just don't have anything that could contain the plasma yet. So I feel like magnetism's always been the solution. Well, and with magnetism being now tied to black holes more, it makes a right. lot of sense. So I'm saying so. it's like the universe and magnetism is kind of right there. Yeah. So there you have it. That's the latest in labs, bad to worst. And if it gets cheap enough to make, you know, nuclear fusion reactors with permanent magnets you can find at home, I may even have to start a little side hustle making nuclear reactions if it's cheap enough. Uh, and for that laboratory of one business, I'd be a fool not to use collective to handle my tax filings. Uh, collective tax season is here, which means more paperwork and more headaches for your business of one. But you don't have to handle it alone this year. Let collective take care of all your tax and accounting needs and see how you could save with thousands uh, with an S-Corp election. Collective is the all-in-one financial solution for self-employed entrepreneurs that specializes in S-Corp elections. Uh, let Collective handle your taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll for a fraction of the cost of a CPA. Uh, 
And if your business of one is making at least 60,000 in profit annually, then you could be missing out on thousands in tax savings every year just by not having your taxes filed correctly. With Collective, the S-Corp tax election is saving its members an average of $10,000 per year. Huge savings just in time for tax time. Right now, Collective is waiving the onboarding fee when you go to collective.com slash hard factor and tell them hard factor sent you. That's a $199 uh, value waived in a full year of S Corp savings. When you go to collective.com slash hard factor and tell them hard factor sent you sent you that's collective.com slash hard factor and tell them hard factor sent you. Nice. Who sent uh, you? <laughs> hard factor. <laughs> Um, I've got perhaps, uh, the best plane meltdown, um, video I've ever seen. Um, and you know, preface this, this woman is probably mentally ill. So, you know, I want to be sympathetic to that. Yeah. That, that, that's what stinks about this one is normally, um, yeah. like, like getting on a plane, it's expensive. It's a barrier of entry, right? Mm -hmm. Where like, usually the meltdown is someone who you can laugh at because, it's hard to like afford things if you're like a certain level of crazy, you know, but yeah, someone might uh, want a ticket for her. I mean, she was wearing jewelry. She was it looks like she had a nice outfit on. Yeah, she just because you're crazy doesn't mean you don't have money. That's yeah, one she, thing I've learned. In she life. looks like she's an invasion of the body snatchers. True, <laughs> but she could still have she, money. You know, it know. was in Vegas. So maybe she just got done taking a trip. Um, So, you know, yeah, she might be a little bit crazy. I don't know how crazy, but um. I'm just going to play the clip because, uh, well, first I'm going to show you some of the from some of the still in images again, just to kind of wet your whistle. Here's here's that uh, rubber. <laughs> chicken, that rubber <laughs> here's What's another. That? Did she get punched? No, no, no. She did oh, not get punched at all. Look at that angle. That's very really dramatic. Weird. So that, that, that's a point of view. Put that picture back up. That's a point of view, right? Because you can see the the a hand on a phone in the bottom of the frame filming her. Yes, her re looking at the person filming. Who took that picture, dude? A I don't genius. Know. Yeah. Here's another yeah. angle. Ansel yeah. Adams was it? Was it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think the cops were enjoying it because this guy looks like he's smiling at her um, oh, as that's... as they're as they're. If you saw that in person, the way she's the way she's looking, like the way she's yeah. screaming, it's like a. You yeah. don't get to see a, a full grown person having a toddler. Tantrum. No, this is a toddler tantrum for sure. So you could stick three cocks in that mouth. I don't know why she was getting is, taken off the plane game. in the, in the, in the first place. Maybe it's because she was acting in a similar manner than she, that she is when they try to take her off the plane, and they were like, "We got to get this fucking lady off the plane." But anyway, here's the video. Can you let, me let this go. Can I do that with freedom? All I care about is freedom. That's fine. I've been there before. I'm not scared. I've fucking been there before. This shit is hurting my elbow. It's uh, hurting my wrist. Huh? You're hurting me, Sheriff. You're hurting me, Sheriff. It's like a community theater actor. Right. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit hammy. I can't breathe. What? He's standing up. <laughs> Even the shares laughing. They're all cracking up. Yeah. The plane people are cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck, Incredible. Dude. Did she end with saying this is George Floyd? Is that what she said? Yeah, she, she she did. Oh, she said that? She said That's something. what I caught at the end of yeah, this is George Floyd. video. Um, that's the I ripped it right from TikTok, Mark. No, I just was like, didn't cut in and out. Maybe I was laughing. Probably. I was laughing with her, and and if that's what she said at the end, wow, she she yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but then of course everyone on on the comments started you know saying this is a problem with flying, and this is why I don't go fly anymore. This is why I take road trips. Blah 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 blah. But I mean, that's just the uh, once in a lifetime uh, meltdown that these people got to see yeah. on, on Southwest. They were all cracking up. They were having yeah. a great time. Everybody else in the plane was loving spirit. it. I mean, Sorry, she, spirit. Forgive spirit. Me. Oh, oh so nuts. yeah. That makes a lot more yeah. sense. Forgive me. She's just, she's it's in flight entertainment for spirit. Yeah. I mean, this the, you, yeah. this is what you talk about the entire flight. So you, now now you have a conversation. It's just conversation starter. You're she's ordering like that a guy at the hockey game now. that does the wild dances. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I imagine yeah, everyone I, got free drink. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's getting the direct TV and, the, and drinks after that. That's awesome. Well, if like, you fly uh, spirit, you want to have a story about a yeah. fight. So you like, she's right. like, yeah, this is why also, you fly spirit. Yeah. Spirit too. They set, they set people up like this because the, the cheaper the flight on spirit, the more insane stops you have to make. So like, she could have been, you never know. She's on spirit. She could have been flying for like 25 hours, five <laughs> stops because she wanted to pay like $47 to get somewhere. So until so she had a freak out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She might've been drunk. She mentally un unwell. She might've lost Vegas. all her money in Vegas. Jesus. Who knows? Pretty good meltdown. Pretty good sick. That's all I got today. No, it's good. Yeah. Any other details name or she, it was. No, nope, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't provide that. <laughs> oh, that's nice of them. <laughs> It's nice of him not to. You want to know her name? Good. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I'm more like we're like, I don't know. We we didn't know much about Gomas until uh, she finally came out. Let's He's, get this lady on the pod. You think she'd be willing yeah, to do she'll do the pod. Yeah, she'll do the pod. <laughs> she's she's out there w w uh, warning about the cicadas in the um, eclipse right now. So we're, she's going to swallow a few cicadas if she keeps opening her mouth. Like her. Can, we, can we find out where the epicenter of cicadas and eclipse is? Like, the most cicadas at the time of the eclipse, and then we should get her right there. She could be the world film. record for putting marshmallows in your mouth. With the, how open she can get that that puppy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like to see her in that environment. You know, I mean, she's so surprised. But that is what community theater is like. It's really bad acting. Uh, guys, absolutely insane heist took place in Los Angeles, and I fucking love a good heist. We were talking about. Before the show started, great heist films. Wes mm -hmm. was talking about how now that he's sober, it's like he can go watch movies for the first time. And isn't it sweet? Because you, you might have watched it drunk, sensed it was good, don't remember it, so you can go back and enjoy it for like you never watched it before, right? That's right. Uh, one of those flicks we were talking about is Heat, right? One of the greatest heist movies of all time. Bank heist movie. Great other bank heist movies. Point Break. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else want to share a favorite heist movie? Uh, uh, an inside man inside man is very point good. break is my favorite but the town is also pretty good love Ooh, the fucking bank, town yeah. affleck as a director way underrated yeah he got i think he nominated and so was uh homeboy for argo he won um he wasn't yeah he, didn't, he but, didn't win but he was nominated anyway fun fact there was there you know the movie heat it was made by michael mann in 1981 right mark uh, same yeah. exact movie, titled Thief, same exact script, uh, yep. apparently not great. Remade it into Heat, awesome movie if you haven't seen it. But mm. let's talk Another about... Another one, recent one, uh, Hell or High Water. Hell or oh, High Water, great baby. heist movie. Great one, yeah. Great oh, Taylor Sheridan's Breakout. Great heist movie. Also best actor on the planet, Sneakers, in my opinion. Snatch. Sneakers, great, great heist movie. All the so ocean heist movies. Uh, have you, did awesome. you guys see Amer American Animals about the, yes. um, the I read the book too. Yeah, it's good. In uh, trans at Transylvania University, Wes's dad's yeah, almost. They stole art. the book. Yeah. You've been, you've been telling me to watch that one for a while. There yeah, you go. Watch that one. That one's good. Yeah. One of the good. tensest films I've ever seen. Okay. So, which might have been the situation on Easter Sunday when an unholy heist went down. Guys, $30 million of cash. In perhaps the largest heist in Los Angeles history, which make an L.A. history for cash, was stolen from a Garda World facility, okay, in the San Fernando Valley, L.A. suburb, uh, and they don't know where these guys are. Wait, so a Garda these, World facility is where is that where the armored cars go? It's like an armored car hub. Yeah, so let's talk about that. There, there, there's, there's, they don't know who who stole the money quite yet. They don't know that, but I did a little digging, guys. And Garda World is like that. It's uh, they, they they call themselves end to end cash management services, right? It's like Brinks, and Brinks, like trucks. Brinks. But there's something weird about it, y'all. Okay, uh, I got the address and I was looking around on Google Maps. I was doing this Google Street View, like how did these guys get into this place? I'm interested, right? And then I was like, let me just Google the business name instead of the address. And here's what came up, guys. Uh, this is the Google page. That's a photo added to the um, Google business page by the owner. What do you see? On, that's 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 an advertisement for criminals. A hundred yeah. fucking percent. That's an advertisement for criminals. So really cash counters <laughs> putting cash in bags. A, yeah. a small <laughs> woman of color and a geriatric lady cashing about 40 million bucks it's in not cash. A armored garden site. No, no, no weapon, no weaponry in sight. Yep. Yeah. And that's that's a photo added to the Google business page by owner. Guys, here's another issue. Okay. 
uh, they have the hours for Garda World, guys, and Garda World is open 24 hours a day. Somehow still got robbed. But you can see when it's busy and not busy. And uh, the heist wow. was not discovered until 4.30 a.m. the next morning, even though that there was someone there 24 hours, uh, presumably, a day. Whoa. It was Easter Sunday, so it was lightly staffed. But you can see right there, guys, 3 a.m., not usually busy, busy at Garda World. Why the fuck you would have that uh, on a building that's holding $30 million in cash? We have shift changes here and here. Here and here, guys. Here's another thing. Uh, You'd expect, right, like we grew up in Northern Virginia, and there's lots of unmarked buildings there, right? Buildings that um, if you went on Google Maps, there's no address, but by no means are you going to be able to get that little Google Map walk around man anywhere near that building, right? Mm -hmm. Not the case with Garter World. This is, the, this is the image that pops up. You're in the Garter World parking lot right there, guys, on the yeah. Google Maps. <laughs> that looks very break, breakable and notable. It like, looks very break <laughs> guys. Yeah, it's, it's very just an break office Yeah. <laughs> This is some office building with thirty million dollars. There's, no, there's no way you, you wouldn't want to rob that. You'd rob it, dude. I there's mean, no fence around it, nothing. No, bro, you can pull right fucking up. Uh, okay, so wow. uh, the uh, it occurred Sunday night, right, Easter Sunday, and uh, the thieves were able to get into the building and into the safe where the money was stored. Uh, I guess they tried to get in on the roof initially, um, but they probably blew a hole. In the side of the building as evidenced by this um photograph of that makes sense. a hole in the wall covered up by plywood they didn't discover uh, that for hours for hours man um not until the fucking morning uh yeah it's yeah, crazy remember, there's only three of them in there at that hour yeah it's absolutely insane now i guess i'm looking at reports here now someone might have gotten in on the roof and then they probably busted through that part of the wall i don't know uh, okay. a uh an alarm was triggered but the alarm didn't go to the pol the local police for some reason. Um, that's about all we know. It, that's pretty much it. $30 so unless it's gone. like an obvious inside job with an employee, they're going to have a hard time finding these guys. Great point. Will. Uh, that was a point brought up that not a lot of people would have known, right? That there was $30 million in cash there. I mean, like, it's just it's too soft. Like, there's no reason 30 million should have been there. 30 million was obviously coming in right into this facility that's like a low rent brinks which is probably a huge amount of cash and then someone was like yo donnie that's like a criminal name it could just be from all the marijuana businesses you know it's, a, temp up, it's yeah. a tempting job to want to steal from i mean i worked the vault at a bank of america and the only reason i didn't steal is because i don't I have a fear of getting fucked in prison, but um, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you're unique in that way. Yeah, that's just yeah. a fear of mine. But um, thirty million in cash, that place, that's tempting. Yeah. So, the company is Canadian, guys, and was actually one time owned by Nick Kroll's dad, or at least his holding company, because he's a multi-billionaire. A lot of people don't know that. This episode's full of fun facts, and I mm -hmm. want to read you some of the Google reviews, guys. Uh, Marcus Lockhart gave uh. Garda World One Star yeah. uh, review. How are you open 24 hours and got robbed for $30 million? How? That's, tough. That's, That's tough. a good point. Uh, Anthony O'Hara says, excellent banking service. Five stars. Helped me get $30 million to start my new business. <laughs> uh, got him. <laughs> Anthony. Um, He's going to get a knock on the door, though. Yeah. Wallace McPherson, one star. <laughs> they lost my package that contained $30 million in it, but they gave me one month credit of rent. Got him. And finally, guys, Anthony Freese, one star, stop by to draw withdraw my 30 million from my account only to be told a gentleman named Anthony O'Hara got it to start his new business. <laughs> He's commenting on Anthony Harris. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. having fun. Anthony uh, Harris gonna get a knock. Go back to the one before that. A lot of those guys had left reviews before. This guy's just getting his feet wet with, with review pranks. He's it's brand new. Second yeah. review ever. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> jumping in there. He, yeah. yeah, guys. W one question I had when I saw this is how big is thirty million dollars in cash? Okay, so let's not break as, it down. Not as big as you'd think. Not as big as you think. So that right there is twenty million right. in cash. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not the same. Um, Mark, you can do the math here. A uh, million dollars weighs. That's it. Twenty-two pounds. So times thirty. What's that? Six hundred sixty pounds. Yeah, so you could put it in a pickup truck. The size and length yeah. and width of, a, of, of in a hundred dollar I mean, bill. Leon Lett got caught with over six hundred pounds of weed twice in a van. I mean, you can easily get six hundred and sixty pounds yeah. in a, in a vehicle. Right, but I'm saying, yeah, that's hard to lift. But I'm saying it's not that big in in size. Like you, if you put it in three different bags, two hundred pound bags, you can get it in pretty much any vehicle you want. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you true. if you stacked 
20 million from floor to ceiling would be 8.3 feet t- tall so yeah i mean they could have just used a fucking van right easily that's probably what they did um anyway guys that's awesome good for those folks a lot of experts saying they're not gonna be able to spend it because uh the bills were probably sure. number you gotta, no you got a long probably not a guard world yeah, you probably got not a guard world. Well, what you can do is go to a bunch of different casinos and do like a hundred grand here, a hundred grand there, and you know, cat, get, uh, like a hundred grand in chips, please, and then play one hand of blackjack, and then I'd like to cash yeah. out ninety nine thousand five hundred chips, please. That loophole has mostly been closed, Mark. There's you think so? Suspicious, act, suspicious, suspicious activity report. Suspicious. Yeah, all right. suspicious. I don't know. There's ways. Uh, there's ways. Crypto. Get out yeah. of there. Tell a friend about the show and have a great fucking weekend.